this is Preeti from Analytics India magazine and today's episode is a weekly update from the world of data science. Everything from new launches, latest research, cyber threats and events that have happened in the past 7 days will be covered here. So let's get started. Coming to the first news, let's talk about Elon Musk's Neuralink. Neuralink announced that it was working on a sewing machine-like device capable of implanting very thin threads into the brain. In an attempt to showcase Neuralink's progress, Elon Musk has recently tweeted about the live stream demo that the company is planning to set on the 28th of this month. With this recent information in hand, it is believed that the promising brain chip company might end up revealing the human trials for the technology. You can find the link to the article in the description box below. Moving on, let's talk about machine learning in just 5 lines of code, Fast AI's latest release. Fast AI announced the release of super productive libraries along with a very handy machine learning book and also a course. Fast AI is popular deep learning that provides high level components to obtain state of the art results in standard deep learning domains. The libraries leverage the dynamism of the underlying Python language and the flexibility of the PyTorch library. Now, the latest version, Fast AI version 2, is a complete rewrite of the Fast AI which is faster, easier and more flexible, implementing new approaches to deep learning framework design. Moving on to some news about space, researchers have identified 50 new planets using machine learning. Researchers from the University of Warwick have identified 50 new planets using machine learning algorithms that were used to determine the real, fake or false positives by calculating the probability of each candidate to be a true planet. A process based on machine learning to analyze a sample of potential planets. This is the first time ever that astronomers have used a process based on machine learning to analyze a sample of potential planets. Previous ML techniques have ranked candidates but never determined the probability that a candidate was a true planet by itself. Moving on, LG is releasing a wearable air purifier. LG has officially announced a portable air purifier that you wear on your face like a mask. The PuriCare wearable air purifier uses a pair of replaceable filters similar to what you'd find in LG's range of air purifiers for the home, pairing them with battery-powered fans to help you breathe. LG says the device has sensors to detect when you're breathing in or out and adjust the fan speed accordingly. Kaimeta raises $85.2 million led by Bill Gates to speed up growth of its satellite cellular antenna tech. Global communication startup Kaimeta has raised funding led by Bill Gates. The Redmond-based company has developed a new type of smart, powered, flat panel antenna that can be used to vastly improve satellite and cellular connection signal strength. Since its debut in 2015, Kaimeta has productized its technology and added a significant number of customers, particularly in industries like defense, mobility and public safety. Moving on, Bosch and Ford will test autonomous parking in Detroit. Bosch, Ford and Dal Gilbert's real estate firm Bedrock today detailed an autonomous parking pilot scheduled to launch in September at the assembly. They claim the system could allow existing garages to accommodate up to 20% more vehicles because developers won't have to leave space for drivers and passengers to open car doors in parking spots. Starting and ending the news with Elon Musk, Elon Musk confirms that Tesla was a target of a failed ransomware attack. Elon Musk has confirmed that Tesla was the target of a ransomware conspiracy to infect a Nevada-based company. The Justice Department alleged that Russian national Igor Igorovich attempted to recruit and bribe a Tesla employee with $1 million to introduce malware in the company's network. The employee informed Tesla, which then notified the Federal Bureau of Investigations, which then led to the arrest of Igor on August 22nd. And with that, we come to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Analytics India magazine and follow this segment for everything related to data science as a career. See you soon. Bye.